Hi there, have you ever thought of becoming a world class programmer and developer and learn basic IT and digital skills? If you are the type aiming to become a seasoned web developer, software developer, then consider subscribing to this channel and stay tuned. I'm going to have amazing content. I'm going to teach you everything you need to know to become a world class developer step by step as a beginner. Remember to subscribe to this channel and don't forget to turn on the notification bell in order to get update anytime we upload a new content. This channel is dedicated to teaching you everything you will need to know to become a seasoned developer. Okay, we are going to guide you and take you to every process you will need to become a perfect and amazing developer. Every digital skills and every other things you need to know concern IT to become a world class digital skill expert. We will teach you everything here put another input this time around but we want to submit the result so this one is going to be submit submit and the value will be what submit let's give it the value and let's call that one also submit and i want to give this an id i want to target this and then do some bit of formatting so let's say submit again because i want to do some formatting to this let me load this and see what we've done so far I think so far we've got we've been able to do uh, in parentheses one two three four five six so we need to close it down number of times so one two three four five and then what six so if you hit enter you notice that automatically we've assigned a grade to Kofi by clicking on this square bracket or the square box and dragging in that we automatically grade the rest of our students is that not nice Remember, you need to subscribe to this channel in order to enjoy so amazing things from Agiotech. So this, from this, we are able to grade our students automatically. We can use the same function, the same procedure to also give them a remark. What you need to do is that where we have, we have so far. So let's first go ahead and then also apply our gradient. Okay. I think that down here, we also need to shape this side a bit. So we can use the pen to select and then we can just cut this part off let's select make selection and then hitting the D delete key on our keyboard will delete that part of control D with this select and I believe we are making progress so we can now apply our gradient to it so when I double click on this to give me what the layer style and i have to go to a gradient to valley so you notice what is happening over i have several gradients but this is the most recent gradient i use so when i click on it i'm going to have that and that's exactly great that's the exact gradient i want to use but if you don't want that gradient notice you have several gradient options over here that you can select from okay so if i select any of these gradient notice it's going to change accordingly but for this purpose we are using this gradient so i think this is okay and then i have to apply the same gradient I have to apply the same gradient to the top one I can right click on this and then right click on the first one go to what copy layer style then from my layer section select the top one and then wrote paste so this is going to get the same gradient style okay so right now we can select the two and then we can move them around I press control I can select the two and we can easily move it 